Pat, what are the next steps that are going to be taken by the coroner's office? Well, my uh, office is in charge of uh, delivering that body to the forensics pathologist and the anthropologist, which is uh, in Milwaukee. And so after we collect all of the bones and all of the samples that we need to take from this grave site, they'll be transported to Milwaukee and they'll be autopsied. They'll be x-rayed, autopsied to see whether or not we can determine actual cause and circumstances of death of this deceit. So uh, our office is uh, actually final by then. Now uh, the next of kin has issued uh, or wanted to have the remains cremated and so therefore no one can get cremated without a, the coroner of course issuing a cremation permit. She is the blood relative. I will issue a cremation permit. If there is any challenge to that cremation permit, we may have to have the coroner's inquisition. Uh, I will make the determination as to what evidence is related to that uh, cremation and make a decision. If they don't agree with that decision that I make, we may find ourselves back in court uh, and have the uh, judge determine that, depending upon the information that uh, each party uh, gives to me. So, and once that body is cremated, of course, those cremation remains are no longer uh, any responsibility of the coroner's office or anybody except the next of kin. The next of kin can choose to drive around in her car with those cremated remains if they wish. Put them on a mantle if they wish. But they are solely in charge of those cremated remains and we have no official uh, standing in, in that aspect. And then, of course, the case would be uh, closed until we hear from the forensics pathologist as to his findings. Uh, there may have to be cultures that have to grow uh, with the samples and, uh, of course, x-rays and things of that nature. And so we'll, we'll wait and see if he can make some kind of determination as to uh, not only the manner of death, but uh, the exact cause and uh, maybe some circumstances. I, I don't know, but that would be in their ballpark. And I would think that they probably would have that information. You're looking at maybe three to six months, uh, possible, you know, depending upon what they find.